Hello there, it's uh, Andrew Lynch from Andrew Lynch Golf and I've got my good self here at the range and uh, I think it's, uh, you know, the title of the, the, the video is uh, uh, A Perfect Golf Swing or A Perfect Impact Position. Well, here you see me uh, kind of, you know, uh, hitting the uh, this wedge here and... Uh, you know, so you're seeing the swing, and you know the the aficionados will say, "Oh, that club's a bit laid off, and he seems to fall off the ball a little bit straight after he's hit the ball." And you know all those things, because you know again we want perfect. You know what I mean? But we have to remember we're flesh and blood, uh, not robots. So I'm always kind of one of my kind of breakthroughs when I kind of gave up trying to be perfect, but. I didn't give up on basically wanting a uh, perfect impact position. So let's draw a few lines in, the usual suspects as they say. So that's good enough. There we go. Now front of head. So now let's, uh, you know, we just take that swing through. I play a little square to square swing, so you'll see as this club goes back, it doesn't fan open, you know, there. I like that position there. You can see my, my leading edge angle is virtually the same as my spine angle, which is where I want it. Then goes round, but nice rotation, keep it in the box. You can see the lead foot. So I take it back and just can't quite get it back there. So it's just it's it's virtually isn't it back on the shaft line. So if we take that because it's not struck the ball yet, that's just a millisecond after it's struck the ball. You can see basically I've kept myself in the box. My head has stayed really nice and steady from the point of view of rocking backwards and forwards. The head does move from side to side. Again, that's just one of those things. Uh, Mr. Ballard would t tell you lots about that. But I'm really bothered as well about that, getting that shaft back to that shaft address angle. This is what Hogan did so well. This is what Lee Trevino did so well. And people really used to take, especially Lee Trevino, you say, well, that's a really kind of homemade looking swing. But the thing is, time and time again, he got that shaft back in that position, which makes you an incredibly consistent ball striker, uh, which is why he won so many times. Hogan did the same thing, won a lot of times. Now, Zach Johnson, for instance, is above that shaft line. And yes, you know, he's a you know, he just won the British Open. Uh, but the fact is, a perfect impact position is that position there that I've managed to uh, obtain there with that pitching wedge. The ball went away dead straight. Uh, so if we just kind of, you see, that's going down my target line just exactly where I wanted it. I don't come out of the box. So I've kept my uh, balance nicely. Uh, the one thing, I must admit, I was being a bit picky is my uh, can't see it perfect here but my front foot i'd have had it a little bit more open quite honestly to facilitate the hips getting through the ball a little bit better but the long and short is i've given up on a so-called perfect swing because really that's everybody seems to have their ideas on what a perfect swing is but you know what if you know anything about golf you know that is a perfect impact position and that's what we're after perfect impact position will help you a lot more than uh, basically having a beautiful swing otherwise Ernie Els would be in the world number one now for the past 25 years uh, on sheer beautiful swing uh, you know ability so it's the ability to get the club back like that that is going to so perfect impact position is if you're going to be using video or is that's what you want to be working towards perfect impact because that's going to affect your scores more than anything don't get too hung up on how your swing looks Jim Furyk didn't and he got to world number two you know God bless his father for that he didn't get hung up on the swing mechanics he got hung up on the impact position which determines how the ball goes so 
Hope this helps. Any questions, send me a line. Uh, this is what I do when I do the online analysis. I'm not trying to give you someone else's swing. We've got to find your swing, but also the best impact position. So take care for now. Cheers and keep enjoying your golf.